Good morning. On this Wednesday of the octave of Easter, I'm offering Mass here in St. William's for Lucy Sumpton. We continue to pray for God's blessing upon the Church and the whole world this time of testing and suffering throughout the world. Today's Gospel that you've heard me read is, to my mind, and I think to many, one of the most beautiful accounts in the Gospel of what happened after our Lord's crucifixion. What happened after our Lord's crucifixion when the people were very, um, his followers were very disappointed, to say the least, were they'd had great hopes. He's come to set Israel free, and this is, we're on the verge of this happening. His arrest, his crucifixion, his death and burial, their hopes were dashed. So there are these two men walking along, leaving Jerusalem disappointed, um, putting it behind them. And what happens as they're walking along and this stranger, man they don't recognize, comes along and talks to them. And slowly but surely, um, their hope returns. Their hope returns because he, he goes through the Old Testament, what we know as the Old Testament, the Hebrew Scriptures, and says, look, it says there that the Messiah was going to suffer and enter into glory. He is the suffering servant of God. And they say later on, as he was telling us this, our hearts were burning within us because because they knew he was speaking the truth. They knew the truth was being revealed to them. But the moment of recognition comes when they invite him along to their home and he's having supper with them. He takes the bread, gives thanks, blesses, and breaks the bread. And it's that moment of the breaking of the bread that they recognize that this is indeed Jesus, the crucified, the risen Lord. That moment, the breaking of the bread, when in fact he disappears and meets them later on. But it's at that moment. This speaks to us of our celebrations of the Eucharist that you long to return to, and I long uh, to have that opportunity to celebrate with you, because in every Eucharist, Jesus speaks to us the truth. The Word of God is spoken to us. Jesus reveals himself to us, the risen Lord. And in the breaking of the bread, we know him. We know that this is our Lord. We are given hope the hope of God. Hope in the face of disappointment, of sadness, of worry, of fear, of death. Hope in Jesus Christ, risen from the dead. Alleluia. Happy Easter.